Hey everyone, welcome back to CNA TT channel. Today we're going to walk you through the process of changing your local account to a Microsoft account in Windows 10. This is a great way to sync your settings, files, and apps across all your devices. In another tutorial linked above and in the description, we demonstrated the differences between a Microsoft account and a local account in Windows 10. Before starting the training, we'll explain the advantages and disadvantages of switching from a local account to a Microsoft account. So, let's dive right in. Advantages of a Microsoft account A Microsoft account is a free personal account used to access a variety of Microsoft products and services. When you use a Microsoft account in Windows 10, your settings, preferences, and files are synced across all your Windows devices. This includes themes, passwords, language preferences, and more, providing a consistent experience. Using a Microsoft account enhances security by offering advanced features such as two-factor authentication, password recovery option, and the ability to track and manage devices. Microsoft accounts enable the use of Windows Hello, which provides more secure and convenient sign-in options such as facial recognition, fingerprint scanning, and PIN. By using a Microsoft account, you can set up family safety features, manage screen time, and monitor app usage for all family members, ensuring a safer digital environment. You need an internet connection to log in for the first time with a Microsoft account to Windows 10. However, after the first login, you can use a Microsoft account even when offline. Disadvantages of switching from a local account to a Microsoft account in Windows 10 First up, let's talk about privacy concerns. When you switch to a Microsoft account, more of your data is synced and stored in the cloud. This includes your personal information, browsing history, app usage, and settings. Microsoft can also track your activities across devices and apps for personalized services and ads. If you're concerned about data privacy, this might be a significant downside. Of course, some of these features can be disabled in Windows settings. Security risks are another important factor to consider. A Microsoft account can be a single point of failure. If your account gets compromised, the attacker could gain access to all your sync devices and data. Additionally, there's an increased risk of phishing attacks targeting your Microsoft account credentials. Change a local account to a Microsoft account in Windows 10. Right-click on the Start button and select Settings or press the Windows logo key together with the I key on your keyboard. In the Settings window, you'll see a list of options. Click on Accounts. On the list on the left-hand side, select your Info. To quickly access this window, you can open the Start menu, click on the your username and select Change Account Settings. Under Account Settings, you'll see an option that says Sign in with a Microsoft account instead. Click on that. You'll be prompted to enter your Microsoft account details. If you already have an account, go ahead and enter your email and password. If you don't have an account, you can create one by clicking on Create One. In another tutorial which will be linked above and in the description, we will show you how to create a Microsoft account. After entering your Microsoft account details, you'll be asked to verify your identity, depending on your setup. This could be done through a code sent to your email or phone, or by using a two-factor authentication app. Once verified, you may be asked to enter your current Windows password to confirm the change. If your local account doesn't have a password, leave the password field blank and click Next. Click Next in the PIN creation window. A PIN is a convenient and secure method for quickly logging into your Windows 10 device. It serves as a shorter alternative to a traditional password. It only works on your device and will function even when your device is offline. 
If you want to include letters and symbols in the pen, enable the Include Letters and Symbols option and then enter the pen. Enter your pin and click OK. As you can see, your email address is displayed next to your profile picture. You'll also see an option that says sign in with a local account instead, which you can use it in the future to switch back to a local account. And that's it. Your local account is now a Microsoft account. You can now enjoy the benefits of having your settings, files, and app syncs across all your devices. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumb up and share it. If you have any questions or run into any issues, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to CNATT channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.